Welcome to the Oasis. My name's Mike, and today I'm going to be playing the highly anticipated Asgard's Wrath on the Oculus Rift S. Now, Asgard's Wrath launches on the 10th of October as an Oculus exclusive title. Thanks to Oculus and Sansaru Games, who provided me early access to the game for this video. In this video, I've bypassed the first section of the game so you can experience the beginning and the tutorial sections yourself, and I've gone straight into the core gameplay. I'm going to be showing you some fighting, some puzzles, the companions, the tavern, and how some of the core gameplay mechanics work. I'll be giving you my first impressions of the game at the end of the video, and I'll make sure there's a timestamp in the description down below that you can check out once you've seen enough gameplay. But before we get into the gameplay though, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, and that's Mamu VR. I'm a big fan of the Mamu VR grips, and I've been using them with both my Oculus Rift S and Oculus Quest for some time now. Now there's a few reasons why I use these grips and have no problems recommending them. And the first one is that it stops the battery door from sliding open on the controllers when playing intensive games like Beat Saber. Also, they're fixed in place on your hand with a strap that runs across the back of your hand, similar to that of the Valve Index controllers. They have a nice textured grip and they're great for people with larger hands. There's a reason why these grips are regularly out of stock Check out the Mammoth Grips using the link in the description down below. And now, of course, it's time to get into the gameplay of Asgard's Wrath. I hope you enjoy this one, and without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, here we are in Asgard's Wrath, and as you can see, the game looks amazing. The attention to detail is incredible. I'm in a god form right now, which is one of the forms you can take, and there's my other character there, which is the mortal form. Now, as the god form, you can do other bits and pieces. You can manipulate the environment, like take bits here and solve puzzles. You can also pick up creatures like this shark and actually transform them into additional characters, which I'll show you uh, in a little bit. There's also plenty of puzzles to solve in the environment, so you can look around, you can pick items up, or I could even pluck this bird from the sky. <laughs> uh, I don't want to kill him, but you could kill him if you want to and uh, get some food out of him, but let's let this little guy free. So now let's transform back to my mortal self, which you just do by holding the Y button, and now I'm transformed into my mortal self. You can transfer back to your god form at any time you want, but this uh, lady that you take in the role of right now, she's a total badass kind of viking lady, and she's got a sword and a shield. Oh, and we can take down these guys here and show you some of the combat. So you can slice and dice these guys. You can, you can smash them with your shield, and then hopefully you can Oh, cut them in pieces, which is super satisfying. Let's slice this guy up. Maybe we can take this guy's head off. Nice. And as you can see, when you destroy them, some of their body parts are lying around, which is totally gross. Look at this guy's head. That is so gross. You've got arms lying around with its joint moving. That is cool. Hello. <laughs> So let me show you some of the puzzle elements with my companion. I am ready for anything. This is my little companion dude. I converted him uh, from that shark into one of my companions. And uh, let's see if he can give me a little high five. Ah, he gave me a thumbs up. That's very nice. Good little sharky. Good little sharky dude. Uh, but we can use his abilities. He's got like a biting ability. And we can use that to solve a puzzle. So if we point him up there, he'll go and jump up there. Go on, buddy. Nice. There we go. And by biting that and pulling on that that chain, it's then enabled this lift to work so I can get up here and open this sort of chest, which has got bits and pieces. And you just pop these items into your pouch, and then you can access them from the menu at any time. He looks like he's enjoying that. Come back down, buddy. But the shark isn't the only companion. You've also got other companions as well. Let me show the other companion. So as you can see, there's plenty that you can probably unlock eventually in the game. But right now I've got access to the shark and the turtle. And they've all got unique abilities. So this turtle, for example, if I want to use her to access this chest over here, but of course I'm stuck because of this fire element, I can ask her to block it with her shield. Go for it. 
Nice. And then I can get the contents of the chest. Lovely. Got some silver ore out of that one. During the game as well, you'll also encounter these little guys, these little gnome guys, and they give you riddles. So, for example, this one says, hunt me something delicious to eat, the tastiest part is above its feet. So, let me have a look in my inventory, see what I've got here that I can maybe give to him. Uh, and we've got some items in here. And let's try the raw, the bird meat. Let's try the raw bird meat, see if he, if that's what he wants. <laughs> cool. So that was what he wanted, and then in return, I get a golden needle and some hex silver. And these are all items that you use to upgrade your character. So this is one of the beginning parts of the game, although I've been playing it for around about an hour and a half. So I've unlocked the next section, which we're going to move to now. The main section here is a lot of the tutorial, showing you the key mechanics of the game and giving you your starter weapons. So I'm don't want to spoil that bit for you, you can kind of figure that out yourself. But let's move on to the next part of the game uh, where I can show you a bit more of the combat and a bit more of the puzzle mechanics using the god mode. And as you can see we're moving into this new environment now. It's absolutely beautiful. But the sense of scale is incredible with these huge statues in the distance. It really does look great. So we've got uh, an environment here, we've got a chest over there and a chest over there both of which are guarded by powerful sort of enemies and you could try and fight these enemies now like this guy look at this look at him he's a total badass um, or you could always come back later once you've leveled up your character you've got a bit more powerful and then you can come back and fight them and get whatever loot is in those chests but right now we've got to figure out this puzzle uh, we've got to work out how to get up there I believe um, so let's jump into our god form and see if we can work this out and as you can see, we can now overlook the whole environment like we could on the beach. And the attention to detail is incredible. We can even go and look at our little characters here. in close up detail. Really nice. What if we lift him up and then put him up there? What are you doing, boss? <laughs> I'm trying to figure this puzzle out, dude. Okay, and now we can go back to our mortal form. And we can activate this lift, hopefully. Go on, buddy. I can take a bite out of that. There he goes. <laughs> Good work, dude. Those mongrels have closed the gate. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to lower the bridge and cross. Okay, so we've got to lower the drawbridge. Let's pop him back across with us. <laughs> we might need his help. Oh. Okay. Come at me, bro. Die, bastard. And these companions, they'll help you fight as well, which is really nice. Oh, that was awesome. I totally cut him in half. Got some ore out of it. Oh, he's still alive. Nice one, he finished him off. Good work, dude. I will salt the earth with <laughs> nice one. Yeah. Oh, you want to do a little fist bump? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Mm. <laughs> awesome. Let's go, dude. You can also pick up enemy weapons once they've dropped them. You can equip them as well, so you know you can use it whenever you want. Oh, there's an enemy here. Let's see if he wants to. Oh, I totally missed him. Oh, that's not useful. Okay. Okay, so that is an important part. You've really got to parry their, their attacks. Oh, nice. His head came off. So we've got to figure out how to get in there. I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. <laughs> That's so cool that I can pick up his head. I wonder if I can use it as like a little baseball. Let's see. You ready for this? Here we go. At last, worthy opponents. <laughs> Oh, he totally sliced him in half. 
That was amazing. <laughs> nice work, Sharky. Right, let's head down into the dungeon. Nice, and I think. Oh. I was right. This is the gatehouse, and yes, the bridge mechanism. Okay, so we need to enable this mechanism somehow. Well, let's open the chest first. See what's in there. I think that's a potion. Yes. Oh, and there's a a corpse up there. So let's to me. change you into my sharky man. Waiting on your order. Activate that. Now. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Nice. Let's open up this drawbridge then. Then we can grab this chain as a god. Pull that down. That is so awesome. <laughs> nice. That was so cool. Okay, let's move on. I want to see what happens behind that drawbridge. My sword thirsts for blood. Oh. This is the end for you. Oh, that was so cool. Nice. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Come on. Nice. It's stuck in him. That's awesome. Slice and dice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, mate. No. Okay, okay, okay. Let's use the quick menu. Let's use the quick menu to get some health. And revive my buddy. Come on, Sharky. Revive. Beautiful. He's, he's back in the game. Ooh. Get a potion. Oh, I missed his head. That's not good. Nice. You don't like that, do you? So as you can see, this guy's wearing armor right now. The only way we can take that armor off is to parry. To wait for his special attack and parry him. Oh my god. That's his special attack. That's the parry. His armor's now gone. Now we're free to... To destroy him. Woo! Good work, Sharky. <laughs> nice work, dude. Nice work. Yeah. Good job. Oh. Is this guy? It's a roadblock, have we? I happen to know someone who could help. Come, return to Agir's Hall in Asgard. Okay, so to return to the hall, we just need to press and hold the menu button, go to the world map, and then point to Asgard, and then we can go back to the tavern. And here is where you can upgrade your items. As you can see in this codex here in the, the tavern, there is just so much lore behind this game. You could just read this stuff for hours to really get a sense of what's going on in the world that you're you're fighting in. Really cool. Or of course, if studying is not your thing, you just, you know, chill, listen to the music. Or just, you know, grab a sausage. Have a little have a little snack. So while we're here in the tavern, let's upgrade some of our items and we can speak to the blacksmith here to upgrade our pouch. So we've earned two golden needles from unlocking those kind of gnome sort of quests and giving them the right items and they're used to upgrade the pouch which can add inventory slots for weapons materials and consumables so let's craft the upgrade there and I think we can craft even again so really expanded that loads of other stuff we can uh, upgrade and unlock in here and craft which is amazing all these items I have no idea what half this stuff does but very cool indeed 
Hey, little buddy. Hey, little monkey. You all right? You want to come on a little adventure with me? <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a yes. Where's your wager? <laughs> Oh, so you gotta bounce the coin on the table into the cup. Let's see if we can do this. Nice. Yes, we're on a roll. All that practice playing beer pong finally pays off. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. Come on. Come on. Woo! Beautiful. <laughs> I do. And this is cool. Like, every time you do something like this, it unlocks a side quest or completes a side quest. You're earning money or items to upgrade. Okay, so it's saying forge the iron dragon horn. So let's go and see the blacksmith. And I need to craft the iron dragon horn. We've got all the items we need, so craft that. Now we've got enough leather scraps and metal scraps to craft some leather gloves. Fingerless gloves made of rugged leather. Let's do that. Oh, that's cool. He's actually he's actually making them. Huh. That's awesome. And of course, you can also give your allies, your little minions, you can upgrade them as well with different items. Loads of customization in here. Very cool. Right, let's go back, open the gate. So to get past this fiery beast, we need to use the dragon horn, which we just crafted back at the tavern. So go into our inventory, keys, iron dragon horn. Let's see if this works. <sighs> nice. <laughs> Come on, Sharky. Let's roll out, buddy. And this is the cool thing. Like, I'm almost two hours into the game and I'm still learning new mechanics and getting new weapons and there's so much stuff to unlock. When the developers say that it's a 40-hour a game, I totally believe them. There's no way around. I must do this one. Nice. <laughs> Okay, we can go up here, up the ladder. Oh, we've got some bad dudes. Oh, they've got bow and arrows. This is the first time we've seen bow and arrows. See if we can take them out with our Thor-type axe. That's the cool thing about this axe. You can throw it and then just recall it back. Nice. Oh! <laughs> I got his head. I got his head. That's so cool. Your, your buddy's head's here. Oh, that would have been awesome if it went into his head, but let's uh, take this last guy out. Nice. Oh, I got his head as well. Let's see if we can bat it. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Sharky was just looking at me going, what the heck are you doing, dude? It's all right, Sharky. Don't worry, man. We got this, bro. Let's cut this. Oh, that's awesome. Huh. Oh, crap. Whoa. I felt like it was going to fall then. <laughs> There's no going back that way. It was. That's why. Now I can unlock the god form. So we've unlocked, we're in this brand new area. As you can see, it's just as gorgeous and detailed as the beach was before it. Uh, I think this is where we're gonna end the gameplay for this video, so let's jump to the outro. Okay, so there we have it. That's Asgard's Wrath on the Oculus Rift S, and wow, I'm really impressed with this game. It's been a while since I started playing a VR game and just got completely sucked into the world, which is a real testament to the game design from Sanzaru Games. I think they've done a cracking job with this title. The environments and the creatures look incredible, and when you're in god mode and you're looking around the scenery, it just looks breathtaking. The gameplay mechanics so far have been varied, keeping the game interesting and exciting to play. 
One moment you're exploring a tomb, the next you're solving puzzles, and then encountering hordes of enemies, all whilst having this living creature companion by your side. I was playing the game on medium difficulty, which means you have to parry some enemy attacks to remove their armor. Now this can be a bit tricky at first, but you kind of soon get into the swing of things. It was only actually though when I was editing this video that I noticed that I should have been using my shield more to deflect the enemy kicks and headbutts when getting up close and personal. But now that I know that, I'm looking forward to jumping back into the game and kicking some orc butt. Now the only criticism I've got about the combat is that I wasn't getting any haptic feedback in my controllers whilst attacking or defending. However, I was getting haptic feedback while navigating some of the menus, so I'm not sure if it's a bug or something that the devs can implement later on. The developers state that the game can take up to 40 hours to complete, and if the rest of the game can live up to what I've played so far, which is around 4 hours, we've got a solid contender for a VR game of the year here. Now, although you're paying a premium price for this title, the amount of content makes the investment worthwhile. It's also worth noting that the game takes up 120 gigabytes, so make sure you've got enough space on your system. Also, in the menus, there's plenty of comfort and performance settings to adjust the gameplay to your style and PC specs. So overall, my first impressions of Asgard's Wrath are good, and it gets a big two thumbs up from me and a game that I definitely recommend. You should definitely check this one out. Let me know if you're excited for Asgard's Wrath in the comments down below. And if you've got any questions, I'll try and answer as many questions as I can. Leave a like if you like this video, make sure you're subscribed for all my future content, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.